All right, everybody, we're back. We're going to be uh, continuing the tutorial on how to design total drama characters in Moho Pro. We're going to be continuing with Cody. Um, so last time we were, uh, yeah, we we completely drew him to the best, you know, the best as good. Um, there were some, there's some little things like I wasn't able. I was off camera. I was trying to fiddle around with this joint i think it's something to do, to do with the forearm skin mask applied uh, i don't know what the deal with that is but uh, i'm not going to get too hung up on it and the for the time being uh, we will continue with actually rigging the character so we can pose him and move him around and all that fun stuff so what we're going to do is first oh wait hold on his uh i just noticed his right arm is not in the group folder now it is so uh to make to start out with making cody movable or any character of course uh you're going to right click on him on the layer that we put all the uh all the pieces like the arm and the uh you know his head and everything else into a group layer so now we can right click on that go to convert to bone and so that's going to make it a bone layer you'll notice that this stuff changed when I did that. I'll control Z so you can see before this is what it looks like and then after we have the bone options. So to go about doing this what we're going to do is first we're going to draw a bone here and then I'm going to right click on it make sure I'm going to add an extra point here and then add a little bit of a curvature so if he needs to bend forward uh, that can be done. I'm going to go back up to the bone layer and when i will want to move this one just a little bit more so i have more room to work with let's have another bone i think this the joint was right here so i'm going to move the bone a little bit down so move that down about there draw another bone here i'm going to stretch that one up a little bit to about here draw another bone there and then draw a bone there uh, and then that will, or actually, no, what I'll do is I'll add it in the center. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, never mind. Look at me being indecisive. Uh, so I'm going to add that there. Now, with this, so I'm going to select this bone, hit B and click on it. I'm going to add a bone here, all the way down about so, and then down here, and then down here. Select hit B, select this bone again, go over here, and then repeat the process. Just drag that down, drag that down, and drag that down. And now hit B, I'm going to select this bone, and then I'm going to draw one here. I'm going to check, make sure the, uh, uh, oh no, I don't want to select that leg patch, I want to select the, the leg, just make sure where, it's important that you get the point of it kind of in the center of, of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right or double click on, oop, no, right click on this, quick settings, and then make the paths visible so I can see where the see where the line is. So I'm going to just drag that down about there to start, and then drag here, and then drag here. And then repeating the process, I'm going to just click here, click this bone, drag here. I should mention that I'm going to do the same thing I just did with this bone. I'm going to select the upper leg, right click on it, then add paths. So now I can see when I select a different layer, or rather when I go up to the bone, I can still see the lines, or like the outline of the shape so I know where it's going to be so then I can just pose this accordingly so I'm going to pose this here while it's selected just drag another bone I think I'm going to hide the uh, left leg for a second so I can see where this one is okay I'm going to just drag that to about here and then or no I'm going to drag that like that and then add this so I'll show that again okay so we have all the bones for Cody hit it I'm going to hit control a then hit S, and then just drag to the left, and then that'll shrink, that'll t completely disable the bone strength. So now what we're going to do, the head is easy. Just going to go over here, you should see the bind layer. You can just click on this bone. So basically when we move this bone, 
his head you know, his head bobs. If you don't want to like drag it, uh, all you have to do is hold Alt, and then you can, you know, shake it around. So, next is going to be the. Uh, I'm going to hit Alt and right click just out of convenience to select the. Hold on, my scrolling is not working. There it is. Um, so I selected the shirt details or the shirt layer rather, and I'm going to. Um, B, select this bone, and then well, so I'm going to add some points here and here. And then with this selected, I'm going to hit G and just going to highlight all these points at the bottom where his like the flaps of his shirt are. Hit I, find points. Then go to shirt details and uh, do the exact same thing with this. So bind points. So basically, this is all moving going to go back here to this bone and then go to the shirt layer and what I'm actually going to do is select these bottom points and then these middle points Get I by points go up here to this and I'm going to actually select let's say these points and hit I. So let's see what that looks like when we when we bend it. So I mean, obviously his shirt, you know, details are not moving with the rest of the thing. And also I'm noticing that this is not moving as well. So I'm going to. So that should be should be moving. Um, but it isn't. Oh, hold on, wait. I know why. This these points. I'm going to select this. These points up here need to be bound to this bone. So I'm going to bind points, and then so now it is not perfect, but he can lean forward, like he can kind of bend down, lean forward, like this, and that should that looks that looks decent. So conveniently, I'm on this layer, so I'm going to hold Shift and click on these two layers on the stripes on his shirt. Hit I and bind points. So now those are bound. So now when he bends, uh, there's this. Uh, I will also go ahead and stretch out those lines a little bit more, just so they're um, past his shirt. Okay, so there's that. Um, now for the arm, uh, we'll focus on the arm for a sec. So the sleeve, uh, hitting, well, we got to hit the bone first. Select that, bind points, select this and bind points the upper the left the arm patch will be bound in this case you, there are no points to bind so what you do when you have the leg or the upper arm left patch uh, you can just click and uh, bind it to a bone so you can just click and add it to this bone so when this bone moves uh, the uh, the patch will go with it so but we need to bind the rest of it first of course so now I'm going to select the lower arm. And in this case, you can just hit Control A to bind points to select it all. Hit A, bind points. Right click on the hand, hit A. And then, well, in the hands, in the case of the hand, select all these points and then bind it to the hand. You can also bind the entire layer to the hand because this is just one layer of the hand. Um, and then I also need to bind the forearm like the skin part of his hand to this. So now, uh, oops, now this is looking a little better. Now you will notice that his elbow kind of sticks out here. That is, that is completely fixable. You can just, to do that, <clears throat> you go to the bone. You go to the bone up here, and then what you can do is, well, I'm gonna, I meant to select the bone. Drag this up here, and then drag this here, this here, and this here. It's a little bit of tweaking required, but for joints. And then now, if we look at it in the rendered view, over here, that looks perfect. So, now, as I mean, of course, we obviously have this problem, but that's, you know, for a different story. Um, so, his arm is completely done. So I'm going to close that preview.
for his the collar of his shirt, like his uh, his neck, and the collar of his shirt. I would say those would probably go with. I mean, I I don't have an episode of Total Drama to reference right now, so I'm just kind of going off of memory. So for the neck, like this this layer, we can just show you what I mean. You can bind the layer to uh, this bone, and then select the where was that? Uh, where was this? So like that, and I forgot to name it, so I'll just name it right. Uh, name, bind that to, the, bind that layer, okay, is this layer binding? Yes, bind layer to here. And then, in this case, we can bind this entire folder to the neck as well. So now when the neck moves, this moves. And then also because the head's attached, the head will move. Um, bear in mind, I don't necessarily know how authentic that is to the show. In fact, I might adjust that a little bit but for certain characters it could be the case that's what we'll stick with for now but you know if you want to apply what i've done up to this moment to adjust to how you see fit go right ahead so the upper half of his body minus his other arm we'll just we'll, we'll deal with that right quick so same order business so going to um add this or select a bone first control a i bind points right click on this i'm just going to hit control a hit i bind points select the upper arm the patch just bind that to this and then just double check that that is moving properly and that looks to be so far but the rest of it is not moving so we just need to do that so first i'm going to just bind in this case i'll bind layer just to uh, show you what I mean. Because see, now if we move this, it'll move with the layer. We just need to bind all the other stuff first. So, like In some cases, it doesn't necessarily matter. Like, if it's all going to be moving as one, you can either bind layer or bind points. It, it, from my experience, it just it doesn't really make any kind of... Oops. Uh, it does not make any kind of difference. So, now we just need to go to forearm skin. And then bind that to this layer as well so now this is going to move uh the elbow looks more or less spot on you can see there's kind of a bulge here um so i will just go ahead and fix that right quick and then to fix it what we would do is just simply move uh go up to the bone to the layer like the master sort of bone layer and just move this up a little bit and then move that and adjust it and then that looks pretty good let's check the yep that looks pretty good. Okay, so that is good to go. That didn't close for some reason. So that, and then just the hand, uh, just to show you what I've talked about earlier, you can just, with the hand layer selected, you can just hit bind layer and click on the on this, and it'll move just fine. And finally, uh, we go to the legs. Um, so now, it's pretty much the same order of business. I'm going to right click to select the upper leg I'm going to hit the bone and then hit I or control I then hit I by points the leg patch is going to be bound to the lower bone again selecting the lower bone obviously or the lower part of the leg is obviously going to be bound to the lower part of the leg so bind that and then in the case of the shoe uh, you can just bind the whole layer to the foot bone and now when we look it moves and you can obviously you can pose this but you would probably have to do tweaking on the leg you know maybe round it out or do something like that um, in this case as you can see his knee is you know is messed up like before and this is this is one of the you know important points is that it's a it's a lot of trial and error when you're working with more unique leg shapes so okay let's see so that is Okay, so do I need to move it up or down? I always get kind of confused. So. Let's see. So that's getting close. So let's just move that up here. Or no, that's a little too uh, 
I wonder if, nope. Let's see. Oh, wait. Uh, what I need to do is hit the transform bone tool to bend this a little bit because the form of it is changing now. So let's see. Adjust that. Still trying to figure out what. Now, one other thing you can try is, alternatively, is adjust the leg itself. So let's see. Will that help? That helps a little bit. Um, so now I'm going to just select the other leg, or the like the other half of the leg, and I'm going to move that down there a bit. So okay, not that far. Oh, wait, that was the wrong tool, so let's see, just that there. Yep, that's looking, it's not perfect, but it's a, sub, a substantial improvement. So let's just see if I, if I adjust that a little more. Okay, so, and then when you look in the, uh, in the preview, you can't really notice it that much. It It's sort of, it's sort of bent a little bit, but obviously with a little more adjustment, you know, you can you can get it to where you want it uh, uh, through a combination of, say, moving the uh, moving the actual bone and then adjusting the layer itself. Because yeah, I moved the bone a little bit and that helps some. But that's the le that's that leg, and then now just you know repeat the process for this leg. So let's just select where. Okay, this is the right leg. So. Just because I had the patch selected, I'm just going to bind it to this, and I'm going to bind the shoe to the right foot bone. And then the lower leg can be just bound to this bone. And then the upper leg will be, I'm going to select the bone, by five points. And now that moves, and that is actually pretty good uh, for a first first attempt as you can see there's just a slight little bit of distortion above the knee but otherwise it bends perfectly fine uh and so there's that so you might also consider um you know adding some sort of like space represented like you know his pants about here or something like that. It, it depends. It depends on the character. Because some characters you might have, like female characters with a skirt that completely covers their legs. Cody kind of has that, um, in a way. But that's pretty much, um, you know, all we can do for now. So now, if we look at this, so let's let's look at it rendered. Minus the uh, the the patch on his pants, the line of his hands, and then you know around his neck. Uh, I'd say this looks pretty good. So, and then of course, just to show you as a demo, let's say, you know, for like a, oh, and also though, um, I, cause I completely forgot about this. So, uh, these points, uh, are, where's the arm? So the arm, these points will be, well, let's try this. Um, oops, I can't select the bone. There we go. Yep. There we go. That, that, that fixes it. So what I did to maintain that square shoulder, what I did was I selected these three top points of the upper arm, not the sleeve, but the upper arm, and I bound them to the chest bone instead. So this will bend, and then you can move the arm out, and then that maintains that square sh shoulder. So if I if I wanted to, uh, I won't do that for now because you know, I think you get the idea. You could just do that with the same. Select this these three upper three points, bind them to the this bone right here, the, like the upper torso bone. And that's how you maintain a perfectly square shoulder. 
So the end result is you could you could pose you know a character however you want. Another thing you can try is what we'll do is we'll go to the to the timeline and we'll go to frame one. Is if I go up here, so if I wanted his arm, the cuff of his arm to to be adjusted, you can always go to the bone and click and then do a side flip like this, and then you know pose him, and then you could you know, obviously do like have him run. One other thing I will show you, so and then we can see what that looks like when rendered. The, this might not necessarily be perfectly accurate to the show, but you know this is you can obviously with a little more tweaking you can get it to what you want it to be. An interesting thing is we can do what's called a smart bone action. I believe this is a pro feature, uh, so so be mindful of that. But if I wanted to make like if I wanted his leg to move, but I wanted this to come with it, all I have to do is select this bone. And if you create a new action while the bone is selected, it'll have the default name of the bone. As some videos will say, and this is still true advice, this has to match this. So basically, if I name this upper leg, then this one, it'll uh, ask what I want to name it. So upper leg, case sensitive with the space. And then I'm going to just jump to frame 60. I have this, your timeline might look uh, a little different, like where uh, one is actually at 60 instead of, I think, 24, and that's because I set the project settings to 60 frames per second uh, with higher resolution. Um, what I'm going to do is, so for the bone, so the bone first, just for, an, for ext an extreme example, have the bone move up here. So basically, as the bone moves up, it gets to this point. With this selected, or oh, I need to select the uh, the shirt itself. Uh, nope. So, so this is going to say go up here, and then the color will also go up. And I'm going to move this up a little bit more, about right there and I'm going to move that up a, well, a bit as well and now what we can see when we go back to click mainline and if we move this uh, nope nope move this up here this will move but you would have to obviously do some tweaking because as you can see when you move the leg up here it'll do that but that's just one way to go about it um, you can adjust this stretch it however you want cover this up and so on based on like if you wanted to go up here and then say as it gets here, we select it and then go to shirt and then move the shirt down here a little bit. Move that down there. Okay, and then so now as it moves, it goes up a little bit, but you'd obviously need to do a little bit more tweaking in between, depending on the character, depending on what it is you're trying to do, how extreme the the movement is, that sort of thing, you would have to do some adjustments. Uh, other than that, though, uh, that's basically it. That's the basics of making a total drama character in uh, in Moho. You can do basically any character you want, whether it's a character from the show, whether it's one of your own characters, anything. So it might not necessarily be a perfect replica, but you could potentially combine what you know with what I've done, and then maybe a few other tricks and tips that you've found elsewhere, and you could make characters turn out even better than what I did. So uh, that's all. Catch you next time, guys.